What is the similarity between the shape of a cyclone, the pattern in the famous paintings, even the number of petals in this flower? The answer is the golden ratio. The golden ratio, represented by phi, is the ratio of A and B when A is larger than B and A over B equals A plus B over A. Simplify the fraction on the right and you get A over B equals 1 plus B over A. If you substitute A over B for phi and B over A for 1 over phi, you can bring all of it to one side and leave 0 on the other. Multiply the equation by phi and you get phi squared minus phi minus 1. Then, substitute in the numbers for the quadratic formula and you get phi is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, or 1.6180 and so on. Now, why is this ratio so important? Well, this ratio has lots of amazing patterns. If you go back to the earlier equation where phi equals a over b and 1 plus b over a and replace a over b with phi, you get phi is equal to 1 plus 1 over phi. You can replace the phi in the equation with 1 plus 1 over phi and keep doing this forever. This pattern is unique to the golden ratio. The golden ratio can be found in geometry too. In a perfectly drawn star, the shorter side of the line and the longer side follow this ratio. In a pentagon, a diagonal and one of its sides also has this ratio. There are many patterns like this that make this ratio special, but it's not found only in math. It's found in nature, art, architecture, even music. This ratio can be seen in the world through golden ratio spirals and Fibonacci numbers. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers where every number is the sum of the previous two numbers. It starts with 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. The ratio between two adjacent Fibonacci numbers, past 5, is approximately the golden ratio. These Fibonacci numbers appear in many places in the world. From the number of petals on a flower, or even the notes to make a perfect major chord, are Fibonacci numbers. The other way to see golden ratios in the world is through golden ratio spirals. This means the ratio of every 90 degree turn is the golden ratio. For example, in the spirals of a nautilus shell or a cyclone, you can see the golden ratio. In the Mona Lisa, the spiral follows the golden ratio of approximately 1 to 1.6 to make it look more natural. Even in great architecture like the Parthenon, you can see the measurements follow this. The human body also has lots of examples of the golden ratio. It's everywhere. It's crazy to think that such a small ratio can be found in so many ways across the world. And it makes you wonder whether everything we know about this world is more connected than we thought. Thanks for watching.